Viewer discretion, discretion is advised. I'm Van. I'm sorry. That's Sparky. Salty and Chip. Shout out to the big homie Land, separate fine, my guy. Yeah. Shout out to his brother. Open your mind. Yeah. Talk to a brother. Anyway. I <laughs> uh, had a really cool fireside. Yeah. That's that's probably here somewhere. Um Really, really good. Shout out to the big homie Bob. Shout out to was it Demon Lord? Yeah, not Dreadlord. Dreadlord. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting confused now. Uh, yeah. So really, really, really cool stuff. We um we talked about Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson like made this like yeah, that design cool. map about the Bible, and he was talking about like how it, it interconnected between the Old and New Testament. And there were all the, I was like there was like twenty thousand lines or whatever. I was talking. To, I think it was wow my homie Lance. You could see it right here. Like so this is like this is Peterson, and he's talking about like all the ways the Bible makes like cross reference to itself. It's pretty crazy. Isn't that insane? Um, just a regular book. And it's a pretty picture, too, the way it yeah, came out. It's a fairy tale. Just pay no attention. <laughs> um, <laughs> bunch of different authors, same message. Where in the world is the village? You mean, where in the world is Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where in the world is the village? In Dubai. In Dubai. Dubai. I said Dubai. It's a big homie, Colin. Yeah. Uh, that's okay, my guy. Here he is. It's my guy. You uh, see those dream catchers in the background? His wife uh, makes those. Wow. Oh, I, I thought you were giving something away. My mm. gosh. Zaujet Khaled? Mm? Okay. Anyway. Mm. Anyway. We'll see. Mm. Okay. So, uh, so that's Khaled. Mm. That's, that's a, that Khaled is like a, he's, he, he's like one of the old school. Oh, yeah, I know. I think Khaled is trying to start a gent, um, Alliance, a yep. Gent Prague Alliance. So yep. there's 275 patrons right now. So, Colin, you should be able to assemble a team, my guy. All right. So this is Ghost. Yes. This is called Elizabeth. Do you know anything about Elizabeth Baffrey? We've okay. Never, oh. We've never had a conversation no, about Elizabeth I Baffrey. No, you just said that she was bad, and so I assumed it was Queen Elizabeth, and... This, and is, I remember this is Elizabeth Bathory. She's a wicked woman. For some reason, the metal community is, like, obsessed with her. In a good way or a bad way? Well, I mean, I would say in a bad way, but she was, she was, a. Uh... we'll talk about, I'm sure the song will get into it, inshallah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Or not. All right. Ready? This is Elizabeth by Ghost. This is on Ghost's first record. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I went back and dug into the archives. So, there you are. Viewer discretion, discretion is advised. advised.
What the heck? Who was she? I don't know what is really real or really legend, but she's killed, like, apparently she killed, like, over 600 people. And, like... People or young girls? Well, basically, she... There were... And this, I don't know how real it is, but this is the thing that she would kill these young girls, these virgins, and then she'd fill up her bathtub <gasps> and bathe in their blood because <gasps> there was some like fountain of youth type thing. Elizabeth Bathory, yeah. And I don't know, like the enema, I hope we didn't get the term bath from her because that would suck. Because her name was Elizabeth Ooh, Bathory yeah, and I she know. would fill up her bathtub with, with blood. And it was like virgin blood, and then it was supposed to like... Because she was trying to stay young? Found a youth and all that shit, so... Oh my gosh. Was she a beautiful woman? I... I mean, you know me, when I hear about people that do evil shit like that, I don't really sit and dwell on them for long, as far I'm, as... Yeah. I'm assuming she probably was beautiful, and then that's why there was an obsession they, with staying young. They on. locked her up in a uh, castle, and that was it. She was. That's. I think that that was the end scene where, you know, she's just in that castle. She died in the castle. But she was just some random woman, or she had. She some was like power. a countess or something like that. She was like, she. And it was kind of. It's kind of like you know how like Dracula has an actual. There's a real person, Vlad the Impaler, in yeah. Romania. You know, like Transylvania. Yes. Like, she's like the female counterpart of that. Like, she lived around, like, Hungary, uh, Hungary Bulgaria, somewhere around there. And she was basically like the female Dracula. Like, drink blood, bathe in blood, evil shit, kill a bunch of the people. But she's like a major metal icon. Like, there's I a whole band. There's a whole why. band. There's a whole band named after her. There's a band named Lizzie Borden, too. And there's this girl, Lizzie Borden, actually in New England. Yeah. You've heard of that, right? She went and killed her whole family with an axe or something like that? In a hotel? It, well, I think it was in their house or whatever. But there's a band named Lizzie Borden, and there's yeah. bunches of songs about Lizzie Borden, and there's a band called Bathory. And, like, it's just very strange. Like, it, that's the interesting part of metal. Like, you never hear rappers, like, they don't, they don't yeah. adopt that, you know. But, of course, rap has gangsterism, which is forms of serial murder that get celebrated, so... You know, Ugh. there's your know. there's your this human makes my stomach upset. there's I your think. human beings are relatively much. good uh, lesson of the day is <laughs> here's this woman who's brutally murdered. Uh, I guess they found like when they finally figured out that she was a fucking serial killer. I guess these girls are disappearing all over the the, the landscape. You know, the, there were some survivors locked up in her you know dungeon or whatever, and just like crazy evil shit but I she's been corroborated it's like it the, the, I read it in the uh, I want to say high school in AP English we were doing some sort of project I forgot what it was but it was like some of the stuff was just like this can't be real and it was like verified by like 200 people like yeah eyewitness testimony and shit so mm. I you just wonder like what is going through your mind? I'm gonna go and bathe in this girl's blood, or I'm gonna kidnap this person. And, and yeah, I think that. I, I think that. There has been an obsession over history of staying young and finding the fountain of youth and looking young and beautiful forever. And I think that. Um, that that can make people do crazy things. I well, mean, it's, it's interesting in the line, it says, Elizabeth in the chasm where was my soul forever young. There it is. Yeah. Bathory in the castle of your death, you're still alive, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. He kept saying Elizabeth instead of Elizabeth. I don't know if yeah. he's emphasizing lie. The melody, I'll, te I'll tell you what, Elizabeth. though. i tell you what, though. This, this, uh, the melodies in this song were insane. I know it, it, it was. It was, but I, I just I couldn't get past those visuals. It like made my stomach very upset. It says her pact with Satan, her despisal of mankind, her acts of cruelty, and her lust for blood makes 
her one of us. So that's why there's an obsession with the metal community with her is because they have that same pact with Satan or or are you saying or is ghost talking or what what's right, right. talking right and this is where the ghost fans will, will inevitably say ha 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 you guys are dumb it's all for show yada yeah. yada 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 but this goes beyond ghosts there is a fascination in the metal community with, with blood the, so this is one of those times where like we we just got done doing this like we're usually like you know like white knights for the metal community and we say metal, metal music is not about Satan it's not about the devil it's, it's, it, and even when it's about Satan it's not really about Satan mm -hmm. blah 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 mm -hmm. but this is one of those times where I'm like it is true like there is this sick fascination with like um, celebration of, like for example with a Slayer song with uh, Angel of Death right like it wasn't celebrating that Mm -hmm. Like, they were saying that this guy is a fucking a psychopath and terrible and whatever and mm -hmm. evil. So it's like, it's talking about it, but yeah. not celebrating it. But this is like celebrating yeah. it. And then there's a bunch of songs about her. And then of course, like, you named the band after her. And it's like, this is one of those things where they I'm like... named the band after her? Yeah, there's a band called Bathory. Yikes, man. And I'm pretty sure Cradle of Filth did an entire record about her. Wow. Okay. I don't know. You ever seen that picture of the woman coming out of the bathtub and it's full of blood? No, I never saw that. Yeah, that's that's about her. So it's like that's. But then at the same time, like, I don't know. Like, aren't you aren't you are you fascinated at all with that type of like, that type of story? Like, it's terrible and disgusting. But is there any part of you that's like, well, that's a fascinating topic? <laughs> no, no, because. Um... Like, I remember when I was, like, a teenager, and I remember, like, women being mean to me. And I didn't <laughs> understand why. And I would say, you could tell that she was very beautiful when she was young. Like, I don't understand, like, what if she's jealous, but she basically, she had her time to be beautiful. And so, like, I remember thinking, like, it didn't make any sense. Now, as I'm aging, I can see, like, oh, okay, like, I can see how she feels. Because she spent her whole life being beautiful. And then as she started fading off, like, these women might have felt that, like, like, actually, if they believed that they could find the fountain of youth or something to keep them young forever and they could have that, like, because, you know, I've said it before, when you're, when you're attractive, like, you get treated differently. Like, I, I've told you guys before, when I was in college, I had this pimple on my face and my roommate gave me like a cream for it and I was like ah oh, it's kind of like burning and itching she's like that means it's working it'll be gone by morning I, I do believe she had the best of intentions when she gave it to me but I just happened to be allergic to it so it closed my eye shut and then it started affecting this one so I looked like I had actually been in a fight it was like really bad and um, we did the Bible college that I went to was very strict and we had one shopping trip one a month so I had to do my shopping trip and I went and literally I could not get any help at the stores and I'm, I'm used to like when I go into a store people will even Walmart Walmart is very big and sometimes it's very difficult to find somebody people will search me search me out and say hey can I help you with anything <laughs> and stuff like that and and you know hey how are you doing today ma'am and stuff like that none of that I was looking at people asking for help and they were not helping you know what I did I went and I got my blonde friend and said can you please go and ask them for help because I need to find this thing she asked them immediately they stopped what they were doing and went and helped her and I thought you know what there's some people that never like experience like people being helpful to them. If you just have the un you know the unfortunate misfortune of not being attractive in America or where I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but um, so I think that if a woman is beautiful and she's used to feeling that like that power that comes with beauty, and then as she's starting to age, and then she's thinking, oh my gosh, I have to figure out the way, and then so in her sick mind, she thinks. She's probably looking at those young girls and jealous of their youth, and then she's thinking, well, if I bathe in their... Makes a pact with Satan and says, like, if I, you know, the blood, like, if I kill them, will you keep me young? Like, makes this pact. Obviously, that isn't true. <laughs> I mean, but, but, so I guess it's not very, like, what did you, not very curious to me, because I always thought, again, like, I remember when I heard the story of Snow White, and like, 
the the step the the stepmother or whatever talking the mirror every single day and who's the fairest in the land and then when all of a sudden it doesn't say her anymore and it says Snow White she is angry and then wants to have Snow White killed because she wants to be the fairest in the land forever and for all time. So I, it's not it's I, I always thought it was weird, but again, like I'm saying, like as as I'm getting older, I'm like, oh okay, I'm, it's making more sense to me because you you're you're not you don't have the same power that you once had, and as that especially like if they're a queen and beautiful like all that, and then like they're slowly like because somebody else is gonna take the throne, and so so it's well, it's bathed in pure fresh blood. She peasants virgins killed, so she's going after peasants who were. You know, nothing, so nobody would miss her, right. I guess. Right, yeah, exactly. That line is very interesting. Her acts, her despisal of mankind, her acts of cruelty, and her lust for blood makes her one of us. Yeah. That is it. So, if we come along and say people are born in sin, and they, they have a, they have a, they're, we're born with a propensity toward being sinful. Yeah. People go, no, that's crazy, that's terrible. <laughs> Then how the fuck do we come up with songs like this, where mm. people are aligning themselves yeah. with this woman? Yeah. But I think it's right. I think he's right. I think that... Yeah. And and the fact that bands are named after her, whole records are, are, are dedicated to her, the fact that that can be, that has a place, yep. indicates that there's something in her that's in us. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like that, that purity line, you all stare but you'll never see, there's something inside of me. Like, there's something inside of us that, that's not that different from this lady. And I, you know, I, wow. as much as people want to deny it, you know, then mm. why, 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 why the celebration of her then? I mean, I understand it theologically that people are born in sin, and because of that, like, people can actually relate to her at some level, of form, or fashion. I don't know what... Oh, gosh. I don't really know what was her guiding motivation, because, like I said, I didn't really study a lot about her, but um, there was sort of this folklore that she was bathing in virgin blood because she was trying to maintain, you know... She was an evil woman with an evil old soul. A heart so black and cold. Yikes. Elizabeth in the chasm where was my soul. So like, she is in, so now his soul is empty, his, but, she but is, now she's in his she's soul. filling the void. And, and in that sense, you're still alive, Elizabeth. Because the, the, it's not Elizabeth. Well, it's, alive in there. the spirit that was driving her is right. now in him. And, exactly. And, and I know, I know her. the ghosties are going to say, oh, no. And it's like, I think that he's right in the sense of the, the that un, unadulterated sort of like, I don't know how many people, like if you, like if you were to ask, if you were to tell a person, okay, tell me the one thing that you want out of life, like million dollars or fountain of youth or whatever mm -hmm. and if you were to say to the, to the person okay if you kill 10 people a you'd be able to completely get away with it and b you could have whatever you wanted how many people would take that deal well that movie we watched remember? Uh, the purge no hellraiser hellraiser that isn't it hellraiser no which one's the one with the, the girl and the yeah but that people? doesn't yeah, she was killing mad people so she could get that guy back to oh, her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, it's true. She was killing all those people that so that she could... Yeah, and, and like, think about that. Like, the, that's why, like, sometimes it's like these people, it's always these tyrants that they come into power and they start doing evil shit. Ugh. And it's, it's like... Yeah. The power didn't make them evil. It just put them in a situation where they could, like, Express run through... was in there. They could oh. run through whoever they wanted to run through so they yeah, could get yes. what they wanted. But then it's like... I don't understand how people can just scoff at the idea that there's a supernatural world. Like, because this is like some uncommonly oh, evil, evil shit. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's uncommonly evil. I can't, I can't even imagine the family members. You know what I mean? Like, to find out that that's what happened to your daughter. That's one of the things that's troubling to me about, like, the community a little bit. It's like, wait a second here. I think we're all in line with 
the Holocaust for the most part. Yeah. Like, that shouldn't have happened. That was terrible. Yep. There seems to be almost any time there's like this fascination with serial killers, there's like, because I used to know somebody who was just eminently fascinated with all these serial killers and could tell you everything A to Z about them. And it's like, there's almost like no concern whatsoever for the people that they killed and the real families that were devastated. Like, I cannot, and we've got two girls, I cannot imagine. Your girls are missing, you can't find them. Oh, they're in fucking this girl's bathtub because she wants to, and she dies in a palace after a couple years, you know, like, 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 so th this, I actually need people to like reach out in the comments, like get over being upset at us for whatever reason and like explain, but, but, you know, I talked about this when we watched Vikings, like, like, you know, they're going and raiding someplace and like one of them dies or like somebody that you like dies and you're like oh no and you're sad or whatever yeah. <laughs> he's got but just like mowing a bunch of other people you're mowing yeah. through these innocent people and yeah 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 but then they one of their people dies it's the end of the world yep. Yep. and it's like the author yes that you know i i'm always fascinated by how the author can make you yeah. feel certain emotions about people when they're doing something objectively against your mm -hmm. worldview not even God, they're like even an atheist or whatever. Yeah. Like most yeah. people believe that you shouldn't go into somebody's village and rape and pillage and kill and mm -hmm. and conquer. Most people don't believe that. But like when you watch, but when when an author tells a story, and and then you become on the side of the characters, yeah. Even when they're doing wrong, like you completely overlook it and you're yeah. just focused on them. So it's like, yep. Like, isn't it almost disrespectful to the families of these people that this woman is being celebrated like this? Oh, yeah, I would agree. So I need, yeah. I need help understanding, like, why that is okay. Because the same people who were saying that that Nazi kid, I shouldn't have let him talk mm -hmm. because Nazis are fucked up, yeah. are the same people that would celebrate this shit or celebrate a band like Bathory or whatever. Ugh. <clears throat> and like I, I, I want to be clear. Like I don't have a problem with like doing this song as a precautionary tale, mm -hmm. or even a historical narrative. Hey, this is what happened. But there is a celebration of, of almost a celebration of her here. And I'm like, do you feel? Oh, like yeah, you know? yeah. No, I definitely, you know, get that feel from it. It's not because they're not saying, you know, what the heck. You know, the and, hell is wrong with you? Yeah, like here's the, you know, the fam, nothing. It was all like, you're gonna live inside, you know, like letting her live on inside of them and, and feeling with her and almost like, like having, yeah, it seems like there's more sympathy for her than there is for the, for the girls. Just, you're, you're still alive, Elizabeth. What about trying to, like, if you had the power to make it so somebody was to live on, why wouldn't you have picked the peasant girls that, that, this, that died in this horrible fashion and then... I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, it's a strange... I'm honestly, I'm confused about that. <clears throat> yeah, it's I'm a... not confused about what Elizabeth did. That, that is... That you actually understand. That, it Which makes sense. Which actually scares me that, yeah. that that makes sense to you. Yeah, it makes sense. Because you know what I think? I think the way that the women were treating me when I was a teenager, that if they could have made it so I was not there anymore, they would have. But... Yeah. But I don't know that we're not as... I think as a people in America, we're not like like as violent in a sense like cause I don't think that somebody at my church is gonna like go put a sword through me like back in this time like more of that I don't know maybe that's my perceptions but like I think that I don't I don't think that these people had that in them but I think that they in their heart hated me you know what I'm saying so right. yeah I, I that that makes sense not that it not that it makes sense in the sense of like oh like people should go do that or oh i'm gonna go do something like that, but just like <laughs> well if she if she was doing it for a fountain of youth that is a crazy idea from a biblical narrative perspective because from a biblical perspective you you start off with glory and your beauty and the height of your prime and and like who you are in your prime is who you're supposed to be mm -hmm. but because of sin you, you, as soon as you hit your prime, you hit your decline. So the moment you experience yourself at the pinnacle of your of your existence mm -hmm. is the moment you start you start declining, and that's because of sin. Yeah. Because the dec the declination from your your highest peak is probably the prime indicator that you are going to die. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting here is that, okay. 
So she has an understanding that I am going to die. That's what loss of beauty means. That's why loss of beauty is such an existential crisis for a lot of women. Because yes, there's societal sort of uh, benefits and rewards for being beautiful, but it's also on a subconscious sort of Freudian level, hey, you're gonna die. Yeah. And what does she do? She sheds blood yep. in order to reverse the effects of, of the curse. Mm -hmm. and, Interesting. And of course, that's not very Wrong far. Wrong blood, though. Right, it's not very far from our story, which is, <coughs> that's true. <coughs> blood needs to be shed to reverse the curse. But it's not from other people, it's from, from Jesus. And it was a virgin's like, blood, too. Right, <laughs> right, and, and pure, well, that's, again, that's a good one, like, Pure blood has to be shed mm -hmm. in order to reverse the effects of the curse. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. That sort of, you know, deep magic, as Lewis would say, is true. And what we're saying is, that happened. Jesus did it. Mm -hmm. So, if you're worried about the effects of aging, like, you're going to get another body. Like, you're, you're going to get a glorified, you know, mm -hmm. body that's going to be more beautiful. And it's going to, it's, there's never going to be a, well, what's interesting in my theory about the resurrection is that you're, you're, you're never going to reach your peak because you're always going to be getting to a new level of prime in the, in the, the hmm. way that the, you know, entropy will work backwards basically in the new world. Hmm. And so you're 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 going to be in an ever increasing kind of state of of, of glory and, and being at your prime, mm -hmm. and that's because innocent blood was shed mm -hmm. on your behalf. But it has to be a voluntary sacrifice. It can't be some girl that you kidnap from the field and then slit her throat oh, and gosh. bleed her out in a bathtub. Oh and... my gosh! So if she if this young lady would have just known the gospel, oh, then man then all those people wouldn't have had to die. Like, I'm being kind of, like, tongue-in-cheek, but at the same time, like, I'm always... I, I keep saying, like, there's only three stories. Yeah. And, like, even when you tell a horror story, you're still telling the same story. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Yeah. We're dying. We want to... We, we know that death is not natural, and we want to reverse the curse, and then blood has to be... Somebody innocent has to sacrifice in order to make that happen. It's always mm -hmm. the same story over and over again. Yeah. What do you give the song? Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna this rate this This is an song. unrateable one. Yeah, Just so you know, guys, when we don't rate something, it's not a protest vote. Somebody was asking me about it. It's not a protest vote. It's just like, oh, no. some things are just too sick. We feel like voting on it would cheapen it. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing we did with the, with the you know, the Holocaust, the Holocaust song. song. Yeah. You know, like... Or some of the Tool songs. We don't... Know? Yeah, or, we, you know, Maynard's talking Maynard's about his mom, mom you know, stuff. and obviously yeah. she, that was a very, very important moment for him. Yeah. So we just couldn't do it. So it's not a protest vote. It's just we want to acknowledge these girls that died. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm a huge Ghost fan. You know, I love I love their stuff. But this one is a, a little much for me. I don't know what this video... I don't even know if we can post this video that went with it. Like, if there was no video, that's because it got blocked, but... I always put that because I, I, I never it's know. It's probably not going to get blocked. But, uh, we do need to do like a viewer discretion yikes. advice though. Yeah. Because this Whoa. is, you know, all I, all, what I wanted to do was find like the first ghost record and put what's on top of that instead of just looking for a famous ghost song. Mm. And I'm also avoiding the yeah. most recent al album for, our, for, a reason. for a good reason. Um, yeah, so that, that's, why, that's why we're not voting on it. I would just, I would just like challenge everybody to like, when you hear stuff like this and whatever, like, I don't want you to read too much into it or whatever, but just think about it. Like, what would, how would you feel if that was your, you know? And then I don't know what this guy, I don't know what Papa Emeritus, whatever his name is, I don't know Tobias Forge, I don't know like what his motivations are in this song because yeah. he's an extremely, um, he's enigmatic character like I don't really know like what his deal is. What? A what character? Enigmatic. It's just you just he's an enigma. You don't you don't really a lot of question marks around oh. this guy. Mm. I will say though like I, I I say it all the time every time I listen to Ghost. I feel like he's the smartest. Somebody said like Ghost is like the modern kiss like a lot of makeup and a good theatrics but not talent. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about Kiss. I we should probably start listening to some Kiss. I don't really think so. I think he's extremely intelligent. 
the way he did those melodies and the way he does metal, like mm-hmm. you never hear yeah those that, things those combined, combined yeah. that way at all. And it's like, and it's not a gimmick with this guy because they do it all the time. And I don't, yeah. I don't know how he does it. I mean, he's he obviously has some formula in his head, but I don't know how he does it. But he, what I'm saying is like, I don't know how he does it without it being corny and stupid. Oh. Is what I'm saying. Oh. oh, oh. Um. So anyway, I, 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 I have. What are you a, rating it? I, I'm not rating it. I'm with you. I have a lot of respect for him as a musician. You know what I like about him? What? His mind. Like, I like people that can... Because he sat back and said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a band that has these types of theatrics, this type of sound. It's going to be like... You can close your eyes and know you're listening to a ghost song. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Immediately. And there's not a lot of bands you can say that about. And I, I, and I respect, like, the ability to to think and, and, mm-hmm. and do that and say, I'm going to do something we that's never been done before. Yeah. Because, you know, that's that's what we do, right? We right. sit back and we're like, we're going to do something that's mm-hmm. never been done before. Mm-hmm. on And, you know, and we're doing it. Yep. You know, like, we're, we're in the genre, but I think that we're redefining yeah. what it what it means and what, what you're supposed to do. So I have a lot, of, I get a lot of respect for this guy for that. Mm-hmm. You know? So, there you are. Yikes. I'm Joel. It's probably the end of our walk. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.